And I know that good time is looking for this. Oh, it's Friday. Dance again in the lab here. I'm going to change my camera. Let's try this here this morning. All right. We got the standing cam. Woo! I got so many jokes, but I'm just going to keep them to myself. Yeah, you keep your jokes, brother. You keep your jokes to yourself. Here's the morning. <laughs> Marty, Christina Flynn, and Dancing Billis over here. We got the Highland Pipes bringing us into the lab. Woo! I got the old uh, Elaine Bennis dance going on here right now. Stella. All right. So, hey. I got the standing cam going on right now, Marty. What do you think of that there, brother? Pretty good, eh? I no, I actually like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, listen. So I got something funny that I want to throw on the table. And we got we got Dr. Rashavi hanging with here still. That's great. Oh, wait. Right. I noticed that when I stood and danced, the hearts came out. Look at that. The hearts on the screen came out. So if you like the channel, subscribe to it. You can subscribe. You can like. You can comment. But, man, I got something for you, man. Marty, Johnny, I got something for the men here today. Men, I need you to tune in and listen up. I need you to tune in and listen up with what I'm going to say next. If you want your wife to live longer, I know we all want our wives to live longer. If we want our wives to live longer, research has suggested that the amount of sex that we have increases. I knew this was going here. I knew it. I could feel it coming. It's Keep true. Going. At, Johnny, I'm looking at you, brother, because we're the old dogs in the house here, man. I know and we are the old dogs in the house here. But I'm telling you, man, stats have shown. I, I, I got the stats here. I'm going to pull them up here. I'm going to pull them up. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. So... Women who regularly have sex are likely to live longer, according to a national representative study in the United States. Participants who had depression and engaged in sexual activity fewer than 52 times in a year were found to have a nearly 200% higher chance of dying, guys, than those that didn't. So stats suggest that lack of sex is linked to higher mortality risk, especially for those with depression. So, gentlemen, in a study led by Walden University, 15,000 adults were asked, in the past 12 months, how many times have you had sex? Roughly 38% claimed to have sex on average of once a week or more. The reality was that female participants who claimed to have sex less than 50 times in a year, John, listen to this one, Marty, female participants who claimed to have sex less than 52 times in a year were three times more likely to die from any cause over the five-year study period. So, gentlemen, if you love your wife, dude, make love to her. Go have sex with her. Go and show interest in her if you want her to live a long time. John Anderson, how would you like to comment on this today, pal? Is in my schedule, in my system, yes. you know, that 5.30-ish, that's Terry time. That's my wife. Yeah. And I put some options on the table as I I think it was yesterday. I said, look, we want to go to the bedroom. We want to go out to the lake and read. Do we want to go get on the dirt bikes and go to the track? I put some options on there, but go to the bedroom or I don't call it that. I, honestly, if you want me to be totally honest, I said, do you want to hump? That's our call. That's how we address it. And I guess to a certain extent, to put it blunt, to put it bluntly, I guess we don't have to worry about dairy, Terry dying anytime soon. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Christina, Christina, so you're listening to this conversation. So, you know, you're going to go off the show today and you're going to talk to Aaron and you're going to say, hey, I heard a study here on the show today. So is this rattling your brain or are you leaning into this or you're like, ah, this is fooey, Keith. What are you thinking, Christina? First of all, I don't know what fooey means. So let's <laughs> add that to the list of things that we don't talk about anymore. Second, <laughs> that's only once a week, fam. Yeah, I know. 52 times a year, that's once a week, fam. So it's okay. We can make that work. And if you can't find that time in your schedule, there's a larger problem there. I think I also need to know, too, not everyone has a partner. Does this work with By yourself? Is it the same thing? According to the statistics, females that have sex more than once a week will live longer. So, ladies, if you don't have a partner, take care of yourself. Because you want to live longer. There's just, a, according to the stats, according to the science, females who have sex more than twice a week will live longer. There you go. Leave it at that. Dr. Monica, so you're the doctor in the group here. Dr. Monica, how would you like to comment on this, <laughs> this point of the show here? Monica. Oh, I was hoping you were going to skip me. So I'll bring it back to systems. Yes. And say that if this research study that I would love to see 
where their stats came from a little bit more, although I very much appreciate that you mentioned their population size of 15,000 participants, because that was interesting. Yes. A lot of studies will say that they had like st participants and it was like 20 people. Yes. So yeah. it was good to hear <laughs> that there was a lot more people in it. Yes. But I, I certainly want to live longer. So I'll just put it out there. I, I may have a field in my Notion database that tracks such things. Yeah, Yay! that's it. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Level. <laughs> And, and on that level, when your system basically encapsulates having sex, then holy shit, how do you not enjoy that system? How do you not enjoy that rhythm, that routine? You just got to program the things into the routine that floats your boat, literally. I get it. Chris I see what you're doing. You're trying to tell. I get you. I see you. Marty? I got a system as well. I'm not married, but I got a system for it. So <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Ah, I, oh, I love it. All right, you're hanging out with Keith, Marty, John, Christina Flynn, and our guest, Dr. Monica, here this morning. We're talking systems, and I had to weave in. Gentlemen, we love our wives, so do that. Just show the love that you have. Lauren, I love you, baby. I love you so much. You have a great weekend with your girlfriend this morning, this weekend. All right, Richie Rich, what's your system, brother? All right, so listen, let's go to what's going to in the gym. And Johnny, I threw something to Marty this morning. I said, "Hey, I want you to, I want you to, I want you guys to talk about this today. Not I want, but I gave you guys something to talk about." And John, I purposely I threw out there to Marty to have some fun with you on this one. So Marty and John are going to do in the gym with John and Marty. We do it every single day at this time, nine fifteen Eastern time. The only place on the planet you're going to have these two fucking experts get in the gym and tell you guys things that you probably don't even know about. We talked a couple of days, we talked earlier this week about training outside of the gym, talked, Jim, Johnny talked about his journey going to North Korea, and today we're gonna lean into something where Marty's gonna lead the conversation with Johnny, then we're gonna come back and wrap the show up. All right, so Dr. Monica, thanks for coming in today with us. I loved having you on the show. Let's come back and hang out with us again, okay? Yeah, can she Thank come back? Thank you for back? having me. I, we will have her back, I agree. I absolutely agree, guys. So listen, let's get out of here. Tina, we're gonna get out. Dr. Monica, we're gonna get out. We're gonna put Johnny and, uh, Chris on the stage, and I'm going to figure out this whole camera situation. All right, guys, hang tight. Dude, let's do this. Boom, boom, and then boom. John, what's up, man?